What's up YouTube? CJ Extreme here with a commentary video and I haven't done one in quite some time but I guess we're going to do a more broader topic. Uh, we're going to talk about food. Now obviously there's a lot, a lot of ways you can go with that. You can talk about food that like sucks, your favorite foods or whatever. So I mean in the comment section below, if you want of course, comment what your favorite food is. Mine would be pizza. Now, not the original Italian pizza, you know, with the cheese and the bread. More so just the Americanized pizza, you know, like from Papa John's or Pizza Hut or Domino's. I like Papa John's specifically, and, you know, that's just me, though. Maybe you like the other ones, but I'm not a big fan of Domino's. And it's crazy to me how, like, some places can mess that up. Like, you would think <clears throat> anyone can make good pizza, but I guess certain locations just aren't good at it. Because I went to Disney World one time. And I just had the worst pizza experience. Now, not all locations are like that, of course, at Disney World. But there was one that was just bad. But shout out to Disney World anyway. You know, happiest place ever until you taste their pizza. Anyway, um, I was only going to talk about this because the other day I was going to the movies and I saw Deadpool 2. And we didn't uh, eat any of the food that was there for the theater that was available. Instead, we just decided to eat afterwards, which was cool. So it was three of us and I went with one of my friends to Burger King and I ordered uh, two double cheeseburgers and fries. So obviously this shouldn't be too bad because I've had their food before and usually it's always the same. It never really changes, it never really varies. <clears throat> so I get there and I, um, we get everything that we ask for. Customer service is fine, we pay whatever, we go home. So as I get home, I bite into the burger and I'm enjoying it and it tastes really good. And then I, I bite a pickle. Now, maybe people like pickles on their burgers. Maybe people like those kind of toppings. I specifically don't, but I never told them to take that off because I wasn't gonna think about it. I was just hungry. I was looking for food. I got food, I'm happy. But I bit into this pickle and it just ruined the whole thing for me. Like it just, it was vile, it was disgusting. To me, it was just absolutely gross, all right? And for a lot of things now, I try to eat things that don't have too much with it. Like when I get a cheeseburger, if I can make it myself, it's going to be cheese, meat, and bread. And that's it. No sauce. I have some wood on the side though for moisture, of course, but I won't have anything else on the burger itself. And sometimes I'll put lettuce, tomato in there just for fun, but never, never pickles. And I remember one time I went to uh, Whataburger. And I told them, or actually I didn't go, I got food from there. And someone, uh, I told them that I didn't want anything on it, just cheese and, and meat, and that's fine. So I guess the, the workers didn't like my, how specific I was with what I wanted. And they gave me a ton of mustard on it and a ton of onions, which kind of just ruined the whole thing for me. I didn't really like it after that. That was just gross. Now I don't want to go back to Whataburger because they did that. It's just like, why? Like, I get it, you know? Maybe you're having a rough day and someone comes at you with like this whole being very picky or whatever and it might annoy you a bit, but like, damn, dude, don't, don't ruin my experience just because you're having a bad mood, dude. But some people like to do that and, and that applies to a lot of things. But off the topic of burgers, um, I noticed that foreign foods are usually like really good, at least from my experience. And maybe I'm wrong here, but there's this place in uh, Florida called Hunan Wok, and this, the Chinese food is ridiculously delicious. Now, is it really Chinese food, or is it just just the, what we describe it as? I'm not sure, because I remember reading an article where it was like, oh no, it's not always Chinese food, they just call it that, because that's just what we say, even though it may not be, it could be Korean, it could be Japanese, Thailand food, you know? But, regardless of such, it's delicious. Their honey chicken, if you've never been there before and you live in Florida, Hunan Wok, is the place to be. It's delicious. Pork fried rice and honey chicken. Delicious. To me, it's really good, and I always get a lot of it. I'm not a big dude. I'm actually pretty skinny, but I can eat all of that whenever I want. You know, it's delicious. Kind of sucks though when you eat something like that and it tastes really good, but you're not fulfilled. You know what I mean? You don't get the amount that you need to be full. That kind of sucks. I hate when that happens, but it happens a lot more often than not, actually. Like actually earlier I had um, lunch and I like, I like eating peach rolls, right? And usually I get a ton of them to fill myself up for later so that when dinner comes around, I'm good. 
Apparently now I gotta eat two freaking lunches because even if I eat that much, it doesn't really matter. I'm still hungry. It'd be like that sometimes though. So if you made it this far into the video, comment your favorite cereal if you want because uh, I like Fruit Loops or Frosted Flakes. Honey Nut Cheerios, I can try that too. And maybe even some Fruity Pebbles as well, but anything else, no. I don't know, I don't like chocolate milk, so I try to avoid things that have chocolate in it, like the Cookie Crisp or the um, Chocolate Pebbles. I don't, I don't know what the Cocoa Pebbles, is that what it's called? I think that's it. I think that's it. And there's also um, Cocoa Puffs as well. The commercial made me want to eat it, but I didn't want it because after trying it, turned my milk into chocolate milk, and I just like the taste of regular plain milk. That's just me. I used to like Pops when I was a kid, and... I'm not really sure what the flavor for that was, but I liked it when I was a kid. When I got older, I didn't like it anymore because it got soggy incredibly easy. And I don't think they even, or at least where I live, if they even sell it anymore, I don't think they do. Let's, I guess we can move on to sweets now. So um, I do, my favorite thing for sweets at least would have to be probably cookies. But like if it's my birthday and I have cake, then I want regular vanilla cake you know i don't want anything else i don't want anything special just just plain old vanilla cake it just tastes really good to me some people like lemon cake some people like red velvet cake but i just prefer good old vanilla i mean you can never go wrong with vanilla in my opinion just got to make sure you eat it all before it goes away of course but some people have make the mistake of like leaving uh leaving it out for too long and not finishing it well that's that's just from my experience that's not everybody i do that sometimes you know i forget that i even have it because you know, my birthday is over now, so you expect the cake to be gone. You don't think about it anymore, and then it turns out it's still there. It happens. Now, everything I said so far, to be honest, hasn't been too healthy. By the way, I took a drink of water. That's why that was that little brief pause or whatever. I was just getting some water. Because when you do these commentary videos, you talk for like a while, and you gotta stay uh, hydrated. Or it's gonna be dry, and then you're gonna stutter a lot, and then people won't be able to understand you. And then you'll be coughing in the video, and it sounds like you're dying. It happens though. I've said that a lot too. It happens. I bet if this video makes you hungry. I'm just making this video kind of just to make it. I, I like doing commentary videos and it's been a while since I've done one so that's why I'm doing one now. It's kind of a weird topic but I mean if you have one in, in your mind that you want me to talk about then uh, comment below. That's what the comment section is for. I mean it's kind of a, a deserted land down there. You know, No man's land. No one ever goes there but you could probably go there, check it out, make a settlement, you know. I mean, of course, you have to pay taxes, but hey, regardless. But continuing on with the subject at hand. Sometimes I like to go out and get, like, candy and stuff. Now, I don't really count candy as, like, food, you know what I mean? Because it's not something that you're going to get any nourishment from at all, if anything. I mean, you're sure you get your, your sugar and all that stuff, but it's that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just unhealthy, but... It does taste really good, you know, and I prefer to have like gummies and fruits or whatever versus anything else. Excuse me, but that might just be me. But anyways, comment what your favorite, uh, thing, favorite, uh, not, what is it called? Sorry, favorite candy is. Sorry, I'm just a little off right now, but that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you are not subscribed if you want more of this. So thanks for watching. Later.